Hi, I'm David Bayer, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you the brand new Camtasia 2020. Now, if you're not familiar with Camtasia, it's an all-in-one screen recorder, video recorder that you can use through your webcam, and a video editor that you can use on both Windows and Mac. Uh, this is their sales page, and in a moment, I'll take you inside my Camtasia app to look around and see what's new in the 2020 version. So if you're not familiar with how you might use a tool like this, you can use it for all kinds of things, including video tutorials. Um, you can record meetings. Let's say you're using Zoom right now and you want to record those and put them someplace. Uh, if you want to teach lessons or create explainer videos, um, you can create how-to videos. I've created uh, full courses using Camtasia as well. Uh, if you're watching a webinar and you want to record your screen with your uh, screen sound, you can do that as well. Um, you can make demo videos, you can train uh, uh, employees and, and uh, do other instructional videos as well. Um, now there's a whole bunch of different features involved. I'm going to just go through a handful of them. Um, What's new in this new version is the uh, ability to create uh, templates in, a, in addition to uh, using the pre-built templates that uh, exist in Camtasia. You can record your screen in your webcam. Um, there's all kinds of special effects. I'll show you a few of those. Uh, you can add music uh, and other audio. Uh, there's all these title annotations that you can do. Uh, and then you have the ability to do some effects uh, with regard to the way that the camera looks. So you can zoom and pan and you can animate different things with the video. Um, you can create quizzes and then you can do transitions between sections of video. So let's say you have a, a choppy transition. You can, um, uh, and I'll show you one in just a moment, you can uh, move from one scene to the next uh, in a smoother fashion than just a, a, a clean jump cut. So that transition was just a pixelate transition. And now let's look at a fade transition. Okay, and finally, let's do a flip transition. So those are just a few examples of the transitions that are built in, and there's a lot more that I didn't take time to show you. So for this portion of the video, I'll actually be showing you the inside of Camtasia, which I'll be shooting from a different piece of software. So let's open up Camtasia here and Let's go ahead and hit start recording. Now, what you can see is that I have a few different options. I can uh, record my screen. I can record uh, from my camera. Uh, I can choose the microphone. In this case, I'm gonna move it over to the Yeti. Uh, and then finally, uh, if I want to record sound from my audio uh, that's built into the computer, I can turn that on as well. That's great if you're recording uh, a webinar uh, from a you know from screen capture or something like that, and you would like to get the sound directly out of your uh, audio system. Uh, so that would then uh, prompt me to hit start recording, and then I could start recording whatever I wanted to do. Now let's go into uh, I think I can go to new project, and you can see the inside of Camtasia. So here, uh, there are a few new features here, uh, one of which I like a lot, which is this voice narration option, uh, where you can have a video that you have recorded, and then you can do a voice over or overlay uh, here as well. Uh, one other kind of cool new feature, I have not played around with this very much, is that you can add quizzes to the timeline of a video. So let's say you've taught people something, and then you want to uh, do some sort of interactive quiz, ask them some questions before they continue on with the video, uh, you can build that in as well. Now, that's not something you can uh, host on a site like YouTube or Vimeo. Uh, those are going to have to be hosted either directly on your um, uh, on your server or uh, you can upload it to Camtasia's uh, web hosting. Uh, so you're limited with where you can use that type of video. One other very cool feature that they've added is the ability to save items as templates. So let's say you want to uh, have an intro or an outro that you use regularly in lots of different videos. You can actually add that uh, and uh, include it as a, uh, a template, which you can then um, put in the front or the back or in the middle, for that matter, of any video that uh, you are reproducing that same piece of content over and over again. 
All right, so now we're looking at the timeline and I have a uh, piece of content that I have put in here. This is a uh, recording that I previously uh, made in Camtasia. And you can see this is actually one of these square box, uh, promo box uh, um, type videos. And if you look through it, you can see that I actually am talking and then I have uh, subtitled it uh, as well. So you can see uh, there's a whole bunch of features. Let me, let me sort of point some out um, to you. As I'm talking, uh, the text is changing, and that's simply that I have changed uh, the particular text that I have highlighted here. Um, this down below, this call out uh, that you can see, is um, it's got this drop shadow, and then I have this thing, which is um, sort of moving around to get somebody's attention. Uh, now, this is um, uh, something that I put on Facebook, and uh, the call to action on the ad that we're running is for them to hit send message. That's what that's all about. And then you can see at the end of it, I've added this arrow effect to point down to the, the send message button that they're supposed to click. So that's a, a quick look at how uh, this timeline works. And then if I wanted to go in and make any adjustments, I could go in and um, do any number of things. This is uh, sort of typical stuff that you already will have seen in previous versions of Camtasia, where you can uh, uh, stop at the at the, um, the the moment that you have. Let's bring this over here, so you can see uh, you can actually split it at the at the playhead. So then you can have two separate pieces, which you can then move and adjust. Uh, if you want to get more specific, get even tighter in, you have the ability to hone in on uh, right between individual um, uh, milliseconds here, so you can really be precise. Uh, if you want to do some transitions, uh, you can add transitions, uh, all kinds of different transitions there. Uh, this uh, effect is what's known as a behavior, and there's a lot of different behaviors. There's animation moving things from one part of the screen to another. Uh, there's a whole wealth of different options here that you can play around with. Uh, and this is not new in the uh, 2020 version of Camtasia, uh, but it is super, super cool, easy to um, use once you have gotten the general idea of how Camtasia is structured. Getting started with Camtasia is super simple, and as I said earlier, it's available for both Windows and Mac. You can go download a free trial of it right now uh, at the link below this video, and it'll take you over to this page, and uh, you can get up and running in no time at all. So go ahead, click the link, and try Camtasia for free. It's super cool. I love making videos on it, and I think you're going to find it's as addictive as I find it.